Alright, so uh, tank selection wise, it's exactly the same setup we've seen on Himmelsdorf for set uh, number one. Yeah, so, uh, for both yeah, teams. Exactly, so on the Immortal side, we've got the Sirius with his uh, 1390, uh, whereas Ice Water on uh, the uh, PP side decided to keep uh, rolling out with his T69. Other than that, we've got two Ice 3s, two uh, 5100s on each side. Yep. And look at that early on. Well, I mean, obviously, like right now, you guys are looking at the uh, PP uh, Super Friends like City Push. But uh, yeah, taking a look now, they're at the Immortals and they're all going to the forest. Yeah, the Immortals definitely opposing strategy right now. The Immortals going for that eastern part of the map, whereas PP just pushing straight up that just right in the city or on the western front. So if PvP push down to, uh, I mean, or if the Immortals push down uh, more south, and PvP push up north, they could be in trouble. The Immortals could be in a little bit of trouble. The Immortals are already in trouble, yeah. the way they see it. Like, you know what, every single time we've seen uh, we've seen a team committing to uh, the forest like this, without any presence whatsoever within the city limits, either on the railroad or uh, or at least like closer uh, to the outskirts of the city, we've seen them lose. Yeah, uh, definitely. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I'm not really quite oh, sure what they're up, trying though. to accomplish here. I mean, like, right now, PvP has definitely figured out that there's nobody inside the city. Mm -hmm. They know this because their scouts are way up there, pretty much. So uh, they know that uh, the Immortals are out there in the open. Yeah, they so know. So all they gotta yeah. do is just cover the outskirts of the city really well, stay on the cover, and honestly, I, 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 I really can't see how uh, the Immortals would come back from this. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, uh, I have to give a huge advantage to PvP right now. The information they have about the Immortals is just, you know, it, it, they, they know exactly, or not exactly, but they have a pretty good idea of where the Immortals are right now. They, exactly. They know that they're in the in the kind of northeastern corner of the map, and that's why they actually pulled back, is because they're expecting a push coming out from the Immortals. So that's why they actually pulled back. They have one of their scouts and their T-69 still up in the northern area. However, they have all the rest of their forces have pulled back and they're waiting now for, for exactly. the Immortals. Yeah, so it's only a matter of time. I mean, unless the Immortals decide not to push, which is definitely possible because the Immortals, um, although they're not a passive team, they're also a team not to uh, not to push into stupid stupid engagements. Indeed, so, uh, I, well, once again, like maybe they're just trying to cover up their starting position uh, from the east. Yeah. Uh, maybe that's what they're trying to do. But even so, why would they even just... I think they were just like really trying to avoid a head-on confrontation within the uh, inner city with Quite PvP possible. players. Because last time around it happened, they lost mm -hmm. on Himmelstor. So maybe they're trying to just uh, uh, be a little funkier here in terms of uh, their tactics. But uh, I'm not really sure it's going to help them out. Because uh, the more time they give to PP, the more PP is just going to spread out alongside that railroad and just block every entrance to the city. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And once once PP gets in posi into position, it's going to be very difficult. Yeah. yeah. It is going to be extremely difficult for the Immortals to come back. I, I think the Immortals. I mean, both teams kind of have. I think they're kind of employing the same strategy right now. Both teams are expecting the the other to push onto to push, them. Yeah. yeah. That, and that's why we see the Immortals not pushing out, but not, you know, not really, like, doing anything either. There's no, kind of they're waiting. Not committing. Yeah, yeah there's, there's waiting. not a team is, like, really, really committing uh, at this point. Although, yeah, you can see the Sirius and uh, another one of his teammates getting closer and closer to uh, the PvP base. But uh, still, yeah, you've got Heinz here, of course, with his T1. And, uh, yeah, Heinz was probably going to go for that capture behind that wagon. Yeah, quite possibly. Maybe not for a capture, but at least just like spot that, try to get a, a peek as to uh, where the PP tanks are. But uh, right now he's he's going in blind. Yeah. So P so PVP have now pushed up north. They sent, I believe it is uh, the rest of the heavy tanks. So three heavy tanks up there to the northern edge. And, and Robin now, is and like leaving yeah, one back. Yeah. It's it's a it's a three and two spread from PP Super Friends here. Uh, you can see they've got a, a stronger presence oh. to the north. Wow, that was a nice shot. He yeah, actually indeed. shot through the through, through the, the railway cars. Yeah. yeah, we've seen players do that before. So T1 goes down. Hounds is definitely out now. And uh, well, right now it's just um, yeah, it's 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 a pretty widespread from PP uh, who are committing more and more to uh, their enemy starting position. Yeah. Although they are they are leaving like uh, uh, a couple tanks to uh, defend their own base too. Yeah, they left one of their IS-3s, I believe, back at the base, and the rest of their forces are slowly creeping up here to this northern uh, starting position for the Immortals. So we, we're definitely going to see a firefight quite soon. Well, uh, once, the, so once PP gets into position and then once they push, they're not going to stop. 
Yeah, they're not going to stop. And you know what? Like right now, you can see like Little Mac, all these guys from PP Super Friends uh, who are really well positioned undercover yeah. uh, to uh, the uh, outskirts of the city to the north. And honestly, if there's a firefight happening right now, um, I'd have to give it to PP because they're just. Yeah, their positioning is so much better. Uh, although, you know, the Immortals would have to take the bait. Uh, they would have to come out of cover too, in order for that fight to happen. And obviously, the Immortals are smarter than this, so uh, they're not going to just move out just yet. Unless the Beast Capture is going to happen, uh, they're definitely not going to commit to that. Yeah, definitely. Oh, but Sponge taking a little bit yeah. of damage right yeah, yeah. there. Oh, and another shot. Wow, that is a lot of damage right now. It could be signaling a push for PvP. We we'll have to see. I mean, doesn't I'm not, like yeah, see like PvP. If I were PvP, I wouldn't just really commit. Yeah, there's still four minutes left. Yeah, you know, yeah. and right now they're they're doing a pre pretty good job, like cracking shots left and right. All they gotta do is just start like kind of a capture and like force uh, the uh, the mortals to just uh, come out of cover to defend this. Because right now they're all like hiding behind those wagons beyond the railroad. But as soon as they go around it, they're gonna get shot yeah. from every single angle. Look at where Batman is. Look at where Little Mac is. It's just uh, they, they have someone also positioned on the exactly railway Exactly, on too. the railroad too, yeah. so uh, they, they've got such a huge advantage. Uh, I mean, once again, like, you know, I said this from the very get-go, but whoever, like, commits to the forest usually ends up losing. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, mean, there's no cover out there. Exactly, exactly. And especially a team defending from the city. It's There's almost no way you can actually penetrate the defense unless the defending team actually comes out, which rarely we see. Exactly. I mean, unless they really lose patience and decide to all squat this pretty much for a capture, which would be, uh, well, kind of reckless, not to mention stupid. Uh, but if they just send, like, one of the T1s to start a capture and just sort of force the enemy out of the woods, then uh, I, I really don't see them losing this. Yep, so PV have slowly spread their net right now, and they're gonna move in next very soon. I yep. mean, PvP aren't the team to let a match go the full distance without at least trying something, so definitely soon. There's about a little less than three minutes remaining right now, and I mean, if you look at the spread from PvP, I really like it. They it's like a kind of like a diamond or triangle formation they have right now. They have, you know, one... They've got a perfect, perfect yeah. coverage of the starting position. Mm -hmm. uh, they just need to uh, figure out a way to start the capture without compromising this, this position. Uh -huh. Yeah, I have to agree with you. If they're gonna... Be, it, I mean, they're gonna push, it's just the, the manner in which they push is gonna decide who wins. Indeed, indeed. And 2 minutes 30, uh, this is uh, probably gonna be decided within the next minute and a half or so. Or, or even a draw. If, it, if they wait too long, and there's only, um, you know, but if there's less than 30 seconds left, it's going to be, you know, kind of hard to actually end the match. So we're going to have to see, you know, what these teams actually try and do right now. But, I mean, PvP, I, I want to see them move out soon. No, they, they are. They are. They are. They're probably going to start to capture, like, uh, pretty, pretty soon as well. Okay, so the base capture has yeah. been started. So that's going to force uh, everyone out. Like PNL, Iron Buzz, Unreal Rogue, uh, yeah, they're all going to have to come out from behind those wagons to uh, defend this. Yep. And the base capture, okay, has been, it's, it's been started again. So it, the base capture was stopped and then restarted. The base capture hasn't stopped. And yes, this will signal a push from the Immortals. They got to yep. come out. They got to come out this. to uh, yeah. take out like uh, Commander Morte. And uh, as soon as they do, uh, they're going to be like, uh, <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah. Punishment straight <laughs> up. Yeah. yeah, Ice Water was just right there, and if they further, like, if they peak their uh, their heads even further up, like, yeah, Little oh, Mac's wow. gonna be there. That was a nice shot coming up from Iron Buzz. Yeah, yeah, indeed, indeed. Uh, it was a good effort, but still, they're gonna have to come out to defend this. Yeah. More than they do right now, and as soon as they step into that uh, that circle, they're gonna get shot from all angles. Yeah, so Little Absolutely Mac... Absolutely all angles. Yeah. yeah look at that, Zavang trying to get, like, sneak shots, but already, like, you know, 45, 46% now, so they're gonna have to come out and defend this, and look at that Batman right behind that wagon. PNL taking so much punishment oh here. Oh my god, PNL's same with Little go Mac. Down. Same with Little Mac. Indeed, but uh, look at that, PNL oh goes yeah, down. PNL so goes that, down. that's the tier point advantage for you right there. Iron Buzz uh, taking some damage too. And meanwhile, the base capture is still, still intact. Going. Yeah. Exactly, so the angle is perfect. Iron Buzz is still gonna get plenty of punishment here because Batman's just right there in the corner. And oh, look at that, Iron, Iron Buzz, Buzz like, yeah, punished by Batman straight up. Little Mac doesn't even have to risk himself oh, Okay, no, it finally got taken out right Indeed, now, but, but it look does at that, not like, matter. Yeah, so uh, the, the tier point advantage is huge right now. Yeah. And uh, see, I mean, uh, once again, the, the, the moment I saw, like, uh, the Immortals get out to the forest, I'm like, okay, you're just, like, really giving this away to PvP, because yeah. there's no way they're just going to sit there at their starting point without trying to do anything, right? I mean, mm -hmm. this, we're talking about the defending champs here. Yeah. Uh, of course, they're going to find a solution, and eventually they did. Um, so uh, a good job on PPL together. Kind of disappointed by the Immortals 
refusing combat yeah. this time around. They would have been better off just sending their forces to the city. Mm. And actually just, you know, going for uh, 